What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here. I'm back with another Soprano log, and today we're looking at the eighth episode of the third season, He Is Risen. Um, now, real quick before we get into the episode, um, I just want to acknowledge that I'm aware that sometimes uh, these Soprano logs can be pretty heavy on the plot summary. I try to do analysis when I can and, and talk about elements I think people might not have noticed, but sometimes the episode doesn't give me a whole lot to work with. And again, these Soprano logs are meant to be recaps for people who haven't seen the series in a long time or might have forgotten uh, what happens in each episode. But I, I do know that it bothers some people when it's just the plot summary. And full disclosure, I think this episode will be pretty heavy on that as well. But let's just get into things anyway. So Meadow is at a party at her college at Columbia. Jackie Jr. is there. Um, he's selling ecstasy to the kids partying there. He gives her some for free, and then they end up uh, making out and going back to her dorm room. Um, but she passes out before anything can happen. Um, so Jackie Jr. just kind of leaves her there. Uh, at the casino, uh, Ralph is gambling there with the guys. Tony shows up, and everyone goes to greet Tony. But Ralph stays at the gambling table. Again, kind of a disrespectful thing to do when the boss shows up. Uh, when he does go talk to Tony, Tony offers him a drink, and Ralph turns it down. Again, something that's disrespectful when the boss offers you something. And we can tell there's still a lot of hurt feelings from when Tony punched him after he killed Tracy. Um, so there's a lot of lingering resentment there. Uh, the music playing in the background is uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky. Um, it's this country western song uh, made famous, at least for me, by Johnny Cash. But I think this is a different version. But it gives the whole scene kind of like a standoff western feel to it. Tony is really conflicted about how he's going to handle Ralph. On the one hand, he acknowledges that he was in the wrong to hit Ralph. He's not allowed to hit a made guy, even though he's the boss. And Ralph, what he did was absolutely despicable. But because Tracy was a whore, there wasn't like a justification. It wasn't someone connected to Tony where he had a right to retaliate. But the action still, you know, really disgusts Tony. Um, he hates Ralph after this. Um, but Ralph is the biggest earner in the family. And so he really doesn't know what to do. He can't kill Ralph without sacrificing the money. But at the same time, he still really hates him. So he's unsure about how he wants to handle it. Ralph and Rosalie are supposed to come over to the Soprano house for Thanksgiving. But Tony makes Carmela lie to Rosalie and basically cancel the invite for them. She gives an excuse that her father is sick. Um, but basically, Tony just does not want them at the house anymore with all this conflict going on with Ralph. Uh, Tony goes to therapy um, and he's been accidentally double booked with another patient. Um, there's a woman there. Her name is Gloria Trillo. She's a Mercedes saleswoman. And Tony's just instantly attracted to this woman. Um, she's beautiful. And as we'll learn later, there's kind of a sense of danger about her, a sense of craziness that Tony is attracted to. So he ends up giving her the session and he comes back later to talk to Melfi. At his later session, um, he mentions uh, The Art of War by Sun Tzu, which she brought up before. Tony actually got it, read it, and it's helped him you know, implement some new strategies for how to deal with Ralph and his other enemies. Um, so it's funny, again, that Melfi ends up inadvertently making him a better criminal um, through her therapy. Uh, at Thanksgiving, uh, Tony sees Meadow and it reminds him of what happens to Tracy. He goes and talks to her and tells her that he knows that things have been bad between the two of them, but he he still really loves her and he couldn't stand if something happened to her. And again, this is why he's so mad at Ralph um, is because Tracy's killing reminds him of what could happen to his own daughter. After dinner, Jackie Jr. comes over to the house um, and invites Meadow to go out with him. Everyone is pretty happy about this, that a soprano and an April are getting together, except for Carmela. She's a little bit concerned. Um, she thinks they're too young and immature um, to really be together. Uh, Ralph goes to Johnny Sack and complains about his treatment by Tony. Johnny Sack agrees to kind of mediate the conflict. Um, he has an interest in making sure everything goes smoothly because they're all working together on the esplanade. But Tony again refuses to... Uh, you know, compromise and, you know, bump Ralph up to captain or give him any kind of reward just because he's so angry at Ralph. Johnny gets Ralph to um, apologize to Tony uh, to try to smooth things over. Um, but Tony refuses to acknowledge him, um, just makes him stand there and grovel and, you know, doesn't even accept the apology at the end. Um, so Ralph is completely infuriated 
um, and feels like he has no option but to make a move against Tony um, because of this treatment. Uh, Tony goes to talk to Junior about what to do, and it's great to see that, you know, despite everything that happened, Tony still looks to Junior for advice. Even though Junior doesn't have any power anymore, um, he's still someone Tony can talk to, especially because he has really no one else to. Everyone else is underneath him, and he can't appear weak to them as the boss. Um, but with Junior, he can, you know, really be himself and, you know, talk to him about the problems he's having. So it's good to see that relationship still intact. Meanwhile, Gigi is under a lot of stress as the captain of the April crew. Um, he's having stomach problems and, you know, all this stress from dealing with Ralph and everything else. Um, and he ends up dying while he's on the can, um, which is a really humiliating way to go. Um, but with no one left in charge of the April crew, Tony finally bumps Ralph up to captain again to to kind of mediate the conflict that they've been having. Um, but even still, he refuses to drink with Ralph and, you know, congratulate him. Um, this is purely a pragmatic solution. Uh, Meadow and Jackie are out at a bar. Uh, Meadow's pretty drunk. Um, she wants to go to a concert and Jackie doesn't. So she ends up stealing his car keys and taking his car. Um, she crashes it pretty much immediately. Jackie goes to help her and they end up going back to his place. And it's implied that they hook up. So, you know, they're officially together now in that sense um and in the very last scene we see tony go uh to the mercedes dealership uh, to see gloria trillo they end up taking a car out and going to his boat to hook up um so they, they've started a relationship as well which uh, we know is not going to end well but uh, we'll stay tuned for that um, in a few episodes uh, so thank you guys so much for watching i know this was pretty plot heavy um not a whole lot of deep things for me to analyze here but stay tuned for the next episode where hopefully we'll have some more of that. Thanks.